so like you can see on the screen we are about to launch a new ta for hinjodi phase 1 like uh, we have launched this project on the last month exactly on 22nd of march at that time we have launched tower 2 and tower number 3 as a pre launch period okay now on 21st that is the akshay tritya we are launching a new fresh inventory tower tower number 1 and tower number 4 so the configuration that we are providing for this particular launch is 2 3 4 and 5 okay now let's start with the location first so a project is situated in hinjwadi phase 1 so it's basically a it hub of pune is is the screen visible to everyone yes you can see it. yes okay okay, okay. Yes, sir. yes we can see all right okay please okay. shall we continue uh, yes please continue please okay sure so hinjwadi phase 1 uh, we call it as a it hub a second it hub to be honest first one is the kharadi kharadi yon it park so that one is the first and this will be a second it hub in pune region so basically our project is situated in hinjwadi phase 1 so uh, if you have any idea about national highway 48 which connects pune to mumbai so this is the particular highway national 48 which have a connectivity to baner bawdhan your wakad hinjwadi ravet so this has a particular connectivity of for these particular locations and from that we have a project just 2 km away from your national highway 48 okay so for this particular project uh, we are using a landmark of blue ridge township okay so it's a big township of 150 acres so which was started in 2012 okay so we, we are sharing the same premises all together okay so you can see this pin point so this is basically our lodha panash sales office and right beside is that we have our land parcel of 11 uh, sorry uh, 12.7 acres so you can see this this is our land parcel so on this particular land parcel we are about to launch total 7 tasks okay now i will come down to the master layout so on the screen that you are seeing is a 12.7 acre land parcel with total tar uh, total seven yes, tars yes still it is a yes. the, uh, it's a location map can we can't see your uh, the master layout okay let me share it again i hope it's visible now yeah now it is visible okay sure so you can see this particular land parcel so uh, the landmark that i mentioned earlier the blue ridge township so it's just opposite to our land parcel so blue ridge towers are coming up over here okay right in front of our land parcel we have their blue ridge public school and their amenities that is their cricket ground their tennis courts okay and then we have our land parcel 
so like i said we initially launched tower number 2 and tower number 3 in our pre launch period on 22nd of march now we are about to launch tower number 1 and tower number 4 so let me give some glimpse of the launch of our project let me show you the video uh yes there is no volume with to it sorry there is no volume can you peek uh... uh while you playing video don't mute yourself is it visible now or audible now no it's not audible audio is on by this no worries you can continue so uh, if you if if you're not able to audio, uh, like uh, like able to hear this particular video so what exactly they have mentioned that they are very keen or they are very uh, uh, like looking forward to join loda family okay and uh, how our closing managers help them to choose or shortlist their property or the apartment what they actually actually want so all these customers are ui clients uh, where they have given the token for uh, this particular launch okay so at the time of launch we invited them on our site okay so basically based on their ui or what kind of ui they have given they get the particular benefit for uh, for the apartment that particularly they are looking for okay so this video is all about that and uh, now we will continue with the master layout for this particular project okay so we were actually pitching these two towers tower number 2 and tower number 3 so we have delivered configuration or typology you can say two bed three bed four bed and five bed for these two towers now the same configuration we are continuing with in tower t1 and tower t4 okay now the layout for all these towers is exactly the similar okay but now in tower number 4 we will be allocating a particular apartment for unit of 4 bed and unit of 5 bed okay in tower 1 you will have your 3 bed and 2 bed okay now we'll show you the floor plan so before that we will discuss some amenities uh, what we are providing in your gated township so i hope you can see my cursor so at number 1 is your entrance of the project and right beside that we have a exit so we have planned this inner road in such a way that your inner amenities didn't get disturbed by any vehicles okay so this is the outer road for your project now second most important thing is uh, we are not providing parking below your buildings so loda has adopted a concept of mlcp that is multi level car park so this is the particular tower of your parking so it's of 11 story building 
and top of that you have your rooftop amenities okay so let's continue with the amenities at number 3 you can see this, this is the mandate amenity that loda gives that is a ganesha temple so you can see in each loda project we have one ganesha temple mandate okay now at number 4 you can see this is the sitting pocket another city pocket is over here so we call it as a senior citizen zone okay so it basically a sitting area then at number 5 you can see these circles between each tower so basically these are outdoor work from home space which will be wifi enabled and there will be a charging provision so it's a cabana concept basically okay at number 6 you can see this is the half olympic size adult pool 25 meter okay right next to that you have your kids school at number 8 you can see this is the walkway which you can use to reach this particular tower of your parking okay then at 9 you can see this is your pool deck at 10 you can see this is a children centric area which will include your adventure play tourist play tree houses sand pit everything so this is dedicated space for your kids at number 11 you can see this is the party lawn or you can say the multi purpose lawn so if you have any function or gathering of any people so you can accommodate up to 150 to 200 people over here okay at number 12 you have your elevated swing again for kids at 13 on the left extreme point you can see this at 13 you have your dedicated uh, space for your pets okay so we have given a space for your pets to keep the premises clean if you if you like have a pets you can go and do their poop stop over here okay at 14 you can see like i said it's a rooftop of amenity it's a sky sports we call it as you have six courts of your badminton you have basketball court multi purpose court three cricket pitches okay and plus you have one restaurant at the top and you have your gym sauna your indoor games everything inside your clubhouse okay now you can see this future landscaping so basically there will be more amenities coming up in this project on this side you can see a future project mention so there will be a retail complex or a mini mall concept so lodha have a brand called lodha boulevard so basically they deals in uh, retail office spaces and everything so most probably it will be coming of g plus 2 elevation on the ground floor you will have your retail spaces on first floor there will be office space on second there will be a professional space for your prof like professions like doctor cas consultants so we have taken care of everything in this particular project so you have your commercial space you have a world class amenities everything will be provided in your gated society so any question any queries till now no you continue please okay now we'll come down to the floor plan so the floor plan for tower number 1 2 3 and 4 is exactly similar now we will discuss with the hot selling product that is three bed okay so we have a two configuration of three bed that is 1121 and 1133 okay so this is the particular carpet for 1121 so this is the particular apartment with the vastu compliant okay it's a east west entrance okay you have your kitchen with parallel platforms and attached to that we are providing utility space over here now the usp for this particular unit or for this particular project is that we are not giving utility space in your duct area so we are providing on the side of your building okay so basically the idea is that we should get a proper ventilation or sunlight in your kitchen okay now we come down to living and dining space so there will be l shape living and dining space 
or 20.3 by 11 is your living space and 7 by 8 into 3.7 is your dining space. Attached to a living, we are providing your deck, balcony basically, of 5 by 10 by 2. Okay, so it will be a covered balcony. So Loda doesn't believe in giving a alternate balcony concept. So we are giving a head-on head balcony, covered one, to maintain your privacy. Now we come down to bedroom number three, or guest bedroom, you can say, of size of dimensions of 12.3 into 10 by 6, standard size. Right opposite to that, you have your common washroom of dimension 5 by 8. Then you have a 3.3 wide lobby. Then you have a second master bedroom of dimension 14.6 by 10.6. And you have attached washroom to that with same dimensions, five by eight. Now we come down to master bedroom number one of dimension 11 by 14 with attached washroom. Floor to ceiling height would be 10 feet. Okay. Now we will discuss what finishing, what appliances that we are providing this particular apartment. So you can see the difference between the floor, between kitchen and your lobby or foyer space. So basically, we are providing vitrified marble finished tiles in your kitchen, in your bedrooms. And in your lobby, living and foyer space is your Italian marble. In your utility space, we will be providing anti-skid ceramic tiles as it will be a wet area. Same, we will be providing your balcony but with a wooden finish. In your washrooms, there will be uh, anti-skid ceramic tiles. Washroom will be done up with your fall ceiling. Okay, and above that you have your 15 liter capacity instant geysers. Okay, that will be pre-installed by the builder end. White goods we are using of Kohler. Okay. In your each bedroom, we are providing 1.5 ton Hitachi AC, five star rating. Okay, in your kitchen, we are providing black granite, granite platforms. There will be enough space for your double door refrigerator. We will be providing a sink. Okay. And one aqua guard. For security purpose, we are providing five tier video door phone. And that's all about it for three bed unit of 1121 carpet. Uh, the Yash, can you uh, focus on uh, how this uh, new launch will work? That is more important thing to people to understand. Uh, if you can uh, yes. focus that way, that will be really important now. Yes, definitely. So uh, what advantage we are giving you as we are launching this project officially in the market? Till date, we are on the pre-launch period. But now this project will be off officially launched. Okay. Now, uh, let me let me give you a glimpse uh, what we have done before and what we are about to do for our upcoming launch. So for T2 and T3, uh, we have launched it in the pre-launch period. Okay. So we have collected the EOIs. At that time, uh, people don't have any idea about what amenities or what layout would be there for this particular project. Okay, so they have blindly given their tokens of 4.5 lakhs and another one was 1.08. So 4.5 lakh was the VIP pass and 1.08 lakh was for gold pass. So uh, for 4.5 lakh token holders, uh, we have given their first day priority. Okay, that is on the 22nd. On for the uh, 108, lack of uh, token holders we have given a second day priority now there they have got the benefit of the pricing or the discounts you can see for 4.5 lakhs there will they uh, have uh, yes no screen different. has not been changed okay let, let me let me share
yeah so like, like i was talking about tower number 2 and tower number 3 this was the pre launch benefit okay so we have two uis or token you can say one is of 4.5 lakhs and another one is of 1.08 lakhs okay now on 22nd we have attended this particular token holders that is 4.5 lakh one so we have given them a 12% discount on the sourcing price for 3 bed they have got same 12% and 4 bed as well for 1.8 lakh token holder that is a gold pass basically so we have given a 9% of discount on the anchor price same for 3 bed and 4 bed now after these two days we have opened the gate for non ui holders so we have given them the discount of 6% for 2 3 and 4 now we are launching tower number 1 and tower number 4 as like i said on 21st of april now for this the what price benefit will be giving will be revealed on the launch date that is on 21st okay we are taking ui of 2 lakh 7000 rupees refundable one okay so this is a refundable token now the difference between pre launch and the launch and what benefit you are getting extra compared to these token holders so on 22nd or before 22nd people have like they don't have any kind of idea what we are providing for loda panash even they have no idea about what the project name is at least now you have everything in detail like i already shared the layout of three bed but at that time they don't have any idea about layout amenities only about what they know is the location and where the land parcel is okay on this basic information they have given these tokens and they have got this kind of or this percentage of discounts okay so basically they have given the trust to lodha okay lodha is known for their ben benchmarking in all parameters whether there, there is a uh, like construction quality whether there is amenities that they are providing okay so they have the trust on that basis they have given this tokens okay now for you we have taken this amount for your ui for the upcoming launch but now the advantage part is that we will be giving you each and every details okay so it will make you easy to decide what apartment you want to go with whether it is a two bed three bed four bed okay um, and plus i'm, I'm very sure uh, yash uh, this will eventually help out uh, in you know finalizing whether uh, which carpet area and uh, which configuration to move ahead as exactly. uh, that's, i'm that's just trying to reiterate uh, as uh, we launched the project uh, which was uh, tower 2 and tower 3 uh so back then uh we as riyash correctly mentioned we didn't had the project code name as well and uh, we only had was just a tentative anchor pricing so for a 2 bhk it was 99 lakhs we are again uh, coming up with the same anchor pricing so that's the tentative price points that we are looking at for a 3 bhk it is 1 lakh 36000 uh, 1 crore 36 lakh rupees that's what we are looking at even now uh so as rightly mentioned uh, for the people back then who transacted us uh, with us with the 4 lakh 50000 ka amount they got uh, the maximum uh, discount then uh, it was about the 1 lakh 8000 which were the gold pass holders so they got the 9% and then it was open for the rest of the people so while we opened for the rest of the people obviously uh, the discount was lesser and uh, but then the inventory choice was also lesser so unveiling now uh, at tower number 1 and 4 uh, now all you clients basically uh, are aware about uh, what carpet area and what the configuration actually is and uh, i'm sure that will eventually help out in uh, having the most of the discounts that uh, we could offer again in this launch whatever the maximum it could be uh so for basically after transacting this uh, ua amount of 2 lakh 7000 uh 
on the 21st of April, uh, we sure will have a better idea in terms of the first benefit in terms of your pricing, the best possible pricing, whatever we will be coming up with and uh, the best of the inventory choices. Uh, over to you, Yash. Okay. So now if you want, I will definitely brief you on the layouts. Okay. So like I said, it will be make you easy to take decisions at the time of the launch that is 21st. So you will get a first hand hold on the fresh inventories for tower one and tower number four. Okay. So at the time of launch, what we have experienced that. So if we are considering, uh, for example, unit number one, so there are already five clients discussing on that particular units. So if you discuss now, or if I gave you a small idea, like uh, which carpet or which unit you can go with, you, so it will be make your decision faster at the time of your launch. So, okay. So like we are already taking this uh, UI, so we will considering this as a, your booking amount. So we will not waste time in give, uh, doing the transfer and everything. So now we will discuss on the layouts, so like I already discussed with uh, uh, 3 BHK unit of 1121. Now we'll show you a 2 BHK option. Uh, the Yash, if I, if somebody wants to, what is the process? What is EOI? Can you tell me what is the EOI stands for? Uh, why, or how the UI process work, that is more important people to understand than the flow plan right now. Okay, so basically uh, UI is nothing but the token. So you give a token. So token is basically collected for giving you the preference or the priority at the time of That's launch. That's basically, uh, it stands for the expression of interest. Yes. Uh, so wherein uh, someone is uh, interested and that is wherein uh, we have the transaction taken from it. And uh, uh, yeah, so I'm just coming to the process uh, of the EOI. So the process is basically, uh, we will be uh, sharing the bank details uh, with our clients. And uh, that is wherein they need to transact a 2,7,000 of amount with us. And they need to share that uh, screenshot of the transacted amount with us. We will put forward an email and then we will schedule an appointment on the first day, which is the 21st April of the new tower launch of tower one and tower four. We will have a virtual meeting done again, wherein uh, we can have the inventory selection, like in terms of uh, whatsoever the configurations we're looking at, may it be a two, uh, 2 BHK, maybe a 3 BHK or a 4 BHK. And that is wherein uh, we can uh, shortlist the inventory as in the floor choices, maybe the tower choices, and uh, then we can arise on the pricing. So pricing, uh, uh, as I say, it's basically uh, 99 lakh rupees for a two bed that uh, we're looking at. For a three bed we're looking at is uh, 1 crore 36 lakh rupees. So basically on that day itself, we have the best pricing uh, and the best inventory choice that uh, eventually will be available for the people who are giving us this 2,7,000 of uh, UI, which is the expression of interest. When this UI has to be paid? So basically uh, this UI, the last day to have this UI transacted is uh, Thursday which is basically the 20th of this month and uh, before 12 uh, on 20th by IST 12th before 12 what at, at midnight uh, okay and the, what are the bank details if we can so uh, bank details basically uh, we would showcase that And if somebody is paying this EOI, okay, uh, what's the benefit? Of course, uh, you told us, give us the, uh, but what is the benefit are going to come out of it? So absolutely. That's what I mentioned. Like uh, earlier for the first launch, uh, as we discussed earlier also, so 99 lakhs. And then we had 12% uh, of benefit for the ones who had transacted 
the four lakh fifty thousand of EOI with us. That is wherein uh, they they didn't see the floor plan. They didn't see the actual uh, layout, the master layout, nothing. It's just about the trust. It is about the trust on Lodha as a brand. And basically the location, which is the Injewadi phase one, which is the most sort of the location in Injewadi. Yeah, I have a question. Uh, I am sitting in the UK. So how do I select the units when you, uh, how do I get, what is the process for me to select a specific unit which I wanted? So do you have a, it's, it's going to be via the video conference or you? Absolutely. Absolutely. As a layout? So, so on the, on, uh, so once you share us, the transaction receipt of two lakh seven thousand over the email, so that is when will you put your email and we'll schedule a virtual meeting again, one on one. That will be individual meeting, so that won't be a webinar. That will be individual meeting with the individual uh, person. We will uh, have the new layouts, which is basically the tower one and the tower four layout, showcase to them. We will also have a look at the two, three, four, or a five bed house over the interest lies. Uh, we'll have that particular unit shortlisted in terms of uh, the unit as well as the floor options. Okay. Once that is done, so basically we'll showcase the entire inventory, what options we have. So like, for example, if someone is looking for tower one, for tower one, someone is looking for say series number three. That's what we have, you know, ideally um, we have shortlisted. So once the tower, the unit number is shortlisted, we will th basically then look for what floor options one ha is looking at, whether it is a higher, whether it is a middle, whether it is the lower. So whatsoever, as per the choices. Uh, so th the best the best part about this is the people will be getting this inventory option because since it is an early bird thing for the new tower launch, so people, will, we will be having much of inventory there so that uh, one gets the multiple options in terms of choosing the floor option. So many of people, they have some numerology, many of people have some direction thing. So yes. that basically one gets the benefit out of it. So if I pay the EOI now, so I have a preference of selecting the unit I want as per the direction and the floor, right? Am I correct? Basically, we will showcase you the floor plan and uh, the inventory also. So that is wherein for the early people, for the people who are giving us the EOI, they have uh, much of a benefit of getting this aligned to, whether it is as per the direction or whether it is as per the numerology. So this is basically helps them more uh, while transacting this to like 7,000 per month. Okay. Thank you. And how much time do I have to make the payment uh, after the EOI? In, let's say in the first three months, what is my payment out outflow in terms of percentage or the total cost? Uh, so, Yash, can you just help us uh, regarding the payment schedule? Uh, yes, I will definitely share a tentative payment plan. Uh, that, that will be helpful. Okay, sure. Uh, let me let me share my screen. So, this will be a tentative payment plan. Yes, there is no screen has changed. Yes, I am sharing. It's not visible. I hope yeah, it's visible now. Yeah, yeah. Obviously. So you can see a plan over here. Okay, so so like we are considering your token amount as a booking amount. You can see booking amount number one, two lakh seven thousand. Okay, then after fifteen days you will receive a demand of ten percent. Okay, and on the forty fifth day you will again receive a amount of ten percent. So this will complete your 20%. After that, your construction link plan starts. So basically in, in the first uh, 45 days, uh, it's basically a total 20% amount that has to be paid. But the token amount is already being paid, which is a 2,7,000. Then the 10% less the token amount, which is 2,7,000. And then uh, in 45 days after booking, it is 10%. Okay, uh, and uh, uh, the bank account detail, are you going to share with everyone or how it is going to work? Yes. Or do you have any link to make the payment or anything like that? So this is the bank details. 
So, uh, so you can... basically, uh, Mihir, I believe uh, we can showcase this now. Uh, uh, I would request everyone to take uh, a photograph, and even then, we can also show, you know, share it over a WhatsApp or email the bank details, so that uh, you can share the screenshot of the bank process done on the same email. Okay, yeah, like just could you keep the screen if somebody, everyone wants to take the screenshot. And uh, say, for example, uh, on the 21st, if somebody has paid this, you have given the appointment and everything, uh, and for any reason, they didn't want to pursue further, could be any reason. What is the process like, how it is works, everything? So, uh, like I said earlier that this uh, token amount or the UI amount will be refundable one. So between 45 to 50 days, working days, so this amount will be refunded back to your source account. Okay. Yeah, uh, sorry. If anybody has a question, please feel free to ask. Uh, I had a couple of questions about the area. So I'm not too familiar with this particular area. So my one of my questions would be, are there any schools around this place? Any good schools, international schools? Yes, uh, let me show you on the map. So, uh, so we already have this uh, Blue Ridge International School which is uh, right besides our property. Mm -hmm. I think so. so yes, she's uh, sharing some screen. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes uh, can you just share the screen properly? Yes, yes, yes. So you can see we have Mercedes Benz International School. Okay. Then we also have Mahindra International School. Let me let me point it out. We also have International Institute of Information Technology. Then we have Imbices International Institute. Uh Yes, they want school, not the uh, further education. So just show them the school around it. Yes. So we have Mahindra International School in this vicinity. Let me drop it down. So you can see this. This is the Mahindra International School. No, yes, the screen is not visible properly. Okay. That's fine. I mean, I understood. I mean, there are you are saying there are schools around. So Mahindra International and the other one you said was? Yes. So this is the Mahindra International School. This one. Okay. Right next to our Mercedes-Benz School. So it's okay. just 1.4, 1.5 kilometers away from your township. Mm -hmm. so this is your township over here, this one. This is a sales office and we have a land parcel, this one. And this is your school, two schools. Right. This one and this one. Okay, got it. Thank you. Um, so I had another question as well. Uh, in terms of, so, so you showed us quite a few amenities that, and usually Loda provides those many amenities. So what is, 
and you may not be able to give me an exact figure but what is the tentative maintenance a yearly annual maintenance for that yes so basically we have two types of maintenance so there there will be one uh, building combinatory maintenance and another will be federation combinatory maintenance so federation is basically your amenity charges that we with we charge as a amen, uh, maintenance so basically 3.25 into your car uh, your per square foot would be your building combinatory maintenance and 3.75 into your carpet will be your federation combinatory maintenance so, so can you give me a figure for a 3 bhk just give me a figure bhk yes so it will be a 7 rupees per square foot so it will include both the maintenance so annual maintenance comes to so for example if we take an example for this particular 3 bed for 1121 so monthly comes around 7800 right for your amenities and yes. building complete maintenance okay so 8000 is your monthly maintenance outgoing mm -hmm. yes for a 3 bhk yes okay Save to to BHK, it would be five thousand eight hundred. Hmm. Okay. So, so last question. Um. Okay. So you mentioned about you know this token, and then you get to choose and your preferred inventory. Correct. So me as a person who doesn't even know what that is, how do I choose? I mean, apart from the floor, how do I know what, what view, which one is providing, so uh, that, which one would be better, on, so, how, how would I know? So that everything basically uh, will showcase it to you in terms of the options that uh, we are having uh, about, uh, probably uh, we can also look at uh, from the Google uh, images or Google maps, which is there, uh, the satellite image we can showcase. Uh, so I got your point, like from the apartment, what is the view that you are getting? So that basically is something that we can showcase it to you over the uh, presentation itself through the Google satellite uh, images or uh, mm -hmm. that's how we can showcase it to you. Okay. And is there an additional charge for a floor rise? Uh, so we are not very yes. sure, but uh, yeah, yes, I believe you're you yes. saying something. So if we have a bracket between uh, 7th floor till 12th floor, there is a premium view charge that uh, builder charges. Okay. So between this bracket, there will be a floor rise plus premium view charge. Above that, so basically uh, if what we have seen in the pricing point of view, lower floors have a less pricing. Okay. And above 15 floor, again, the less pricing as compared to the bracket of 7 to 15. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure, uh, but then I'm sure as we did it for the tower number two and three, uh, the apartment facing the amenities would be on the lower, would be the most, most lower one, uh, like most premium ones, because you get right. the amenities view. So uh, it all depends on like uh, which inventory you're choosing, like whether it is the city view one. So it, it depends on the individual whether they want to go for a garden view, the amenities view, or whether they want to go for the city view. So that's how then we can basically shortlist the inventory in terms of the floor options and we can uh, just take it ahead. So the uh, so, so idea is that you know uh, the person who is paying two lakh seven thousand uh, in next two days time on on a twenty uh, twenty second of April, which is you know Saturday. This is a, this is a auspicious uh, occasion of Akshay Titya. That time uh, if we will give you the of course we'll contact you and we'll book the time allocation as per your requirement. And at that time we will discuss with you what are your options, which floor you wanted, what is availability, uh, and what is the best price. Internal view, external view. Uh, uh, you know, lower flows, higher flows. Accordingly, uh, they will will give you the detailed costing of each and everything, which includes your agreement value, other charges, your taxes, which includes stamp duty, registration, GST, everything. There will be a detailed.
detailed breakup will be given along with the uh, the, the payment plan which uh, 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 Yash has just shared us how the payment will work out uh, and uh, on that basis, if you feel, and the uh, of course, the, uh, currently uh, one, two bedroom at 99 lakhs, they are quoting, uh, and one bed, two, three bedroom at 1.36 CR, they are quoting. So on that day, we'll actually come to know what is the discount has been offered, what is the, you know, the final price is offered. And if you are okay with everything, then we will pursue further. So that also includes your floor selection, your unit selection. Uh, your detail cost sheet, everything, everything will be clear, and that's how we'll proceed further. Right. Uh, what are the documents which you need along with the EOI now? So uh, we have a list of documents, which is basically your uh, client's PAN card, Aadhaar card, and uh, uh, NRI proof, basically your OCI or uh, you know uh, a passport or a visa copy. That 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 should be enough. If there are not there are many NRIs don't have other card, other card is not compulsory. Then so that's where I said no, either or like OCI or you know probably if uh, uh, you have British passport or uh, maybe some BRP card something like that is uh, I believe that's fine. All right, okay, fine, fair enough. Got so it. the agreements uh, those sign will be taken digitally or somebody has I have to give a POA to somebody in Pune for signing this or it will be done digital digital so, will be accepted. So this will be uh, either a POA or uh, if uh, one wants to come here for the registration, uh, like if someone is traveling with, between that time, they can come, they can have the registration done, they can go. If they want to have a POA done, then uh, we have a set of team which is over here, which will uh, you know. Give, uh, share the like the complete write up which is there for the POA which is which will be a specific power of attorney because that will be even having the tower and the unit number and the floor everything mentioned there so uh, one just needs to uh, go to the embassy there and they just need oh, so, to have so this so this is the registration process which will happen let's say after two or three months right but now immediately for paying you the EOI and whatever agreement needs to be signed agreement to sell or whatever so for that, I don't need to come, right? I can do... No, you don't need to come. That's what we're saying. You can just transact us. By the time we require the agreements done, so before that, we'll have... If, like someone, It's not possible for someone to come here. So uh, then possibly we have a team. That's what I was telling you. We will share the draft. And uh, the person sitting there, they have to get it signed through the embassy back there in UK. They have to uh, share it over here. Uh, whosoever they're giving the power of attorney. Uh, no, no. Uh, so just uh, enough the question to your answer to your question is that for uh, booking formality, there is nothing is required uh, as such signing yeah. and those things. Uh, okay. Just for the for the property, registration, uh, property registration, uh, uh, you will have to uh, do the uh, process, uh, uh, you know, the which you have to go to the registrar office. And also, uh, uh, since 2017, uh, RERA has come into the picture. Uh, and as per Maharashtra RERA, Maharera, uh, the developer cannot collect more than 10% of the amount uh, agreement value uh, if the property is not registered. So for the registration, uh, you have to pay stamp duty registration. Uh, currently, I think so in uh, in a state of Maharashtra or in Pune uh, is about 6%. But I think so this comes under the township. So 7% over here. Uh, in Pune, it is 7%. Yeah. 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 So 7% is the stamp duty, which you have to pay, uh, you know, within uh, 45 days to time, 45 to 60 days time. Understood. Thanks. So for booking, I don't need to come. It can just be done online. Definitely, yeah. this is all digital. You just need yeah. to have the transaction uh, done, like, and you have to share the screenshots. Understood. Okay. Thanks. Like we are doing for the token of two lakh seven thousand. That's the same process. Once you have the cost sheet, you know the actual amounts that uh, one needs to pay, and that's how then uh, you can keep on transacting the rest of the amounts. Okay. Thank you. Uh, sorry, somebody, uh, I have drop off. Uh, thanks for the information. Okay. All right. uh, yeah. Uh, is there any, any more questions anybody have? I think so. Uh, that's uh, thanks for everyone to joining this meeting. I really appreciate your time for this. And yeah, we will connect uh, Mihir uh, uh, and me, Mihir again, both are Mihir here. We will connect with you separately and we'll take Definitely. it.
Okay. Thanks, everyone. Uh, thanks thank you. you. Thank, thank you, you for the call. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.